Imran Khan was ousted from his position as Prime Minister of Pakistan after 174 legislators voted against him in a no-confidence motion early on Sunday morning. The vote came after the Speaker of the House resigned, saying he could not oversee the ouster of his close ally of 30 years, and after Khan's own lawmakers delayed the vote all Saturday, only allowing voting close to midnight. Before discussion of the vote began, all of Khan's allies walked out of the chamber. The Supreme Court had ordered the vote to take place no later than Saturday, after it dismissed as unconstitutional an earlier attempt by Khan to dissolve the parliament in an effort to forestall the vote. In an impassioned speech Friday, Khan doubled down on his accusations that his opponents colluded with the United States to unseat him over his foreign policy choices, which often seemed to favor China and Russia and defied the U.S. Khan said Washington opposed his February 24 meeting with Russian President. The U.S. State Department has denied any involvement in Pakistan's internal politics. Deputy State Department spokeswoman Jelena Porter told reporters on Friday there was absolutely no truth to these allegations. Still, Khan urged his supporters to take to the streets, particularly the youth who have been the backbone of his support since the former cricket star turned conservative. He said they needed to protect Pakistan's sovereignty and oppose you. As dictations, you have to come out to protect your own future. It is you who have to protect your democracy, your sovereignty and your independence.